Welcome, all right. Well, what's up, everybody? Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me. Wanted to talk about this recurve squonker mod that Mike Vapes and Watofo, I was going to say Rotofo, and then, then that doesn't make any sense, that Mike Vapes and Watofo released together. I know there's already a bunch of reviews for this out there on the internet, but I really wanted to throw in my two cents because I've really been enjoying using this mod. It's a little bit big. And it's a little bit heavy, but otherwise it's been uh, it's been a real enjoyable experience. And in order to get to know this just a little bit better, what we're gonna do is go up close, as we often do. That's right. Quick short up, big closey time. Go there now. All right. Well, here we go. This is the Mike Vapes Watofo Recurve Squonk mod. It is a single battery. You can use 21700s, 2700s, or with an included sleeve, you can use 18650s in there. Me personally, if a mod is going to be this sort of big in the hand and it can use a 21700 battery, yeah, of course. I'm going to utilize that. I think you should take advantage of that and use a 21700 battery every single time. So first things first, this thing is heavy. This is a weighty, weighty mod. Even without a battery in it, it, it feels like a lot. It's, it's a real heavy mod. It is also ergonomic AF. It fits in my hand better, I think, than any other mod I've used previously. It fits so well, so ergonomic. It's got that trigger style button right there that I really, really like. I'm a guy that likes to hit the button with my finger, and so having that placement right there, pew, 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 dude, it, it's perfect. It, it's perfect, and I love it the way it is. There's a spring-loaded 510 on top. There's a magnetic battery compartment right there and then there's your squonk bottle right there and that's really all there is to this mod it's a real straightforward like normal silicone 8 mil squonk bottle it's threaded on the top and bottom here so when you have to fill it you kind of pinch the bottom one pinch this one unscrew it fill it up put it back together filling squonk bottles is always a little bit of a process. I always need to have a paper towel handy because no matter how good the squonk bottle is or how well it's been designed with the knurling and the straw and everything, inevitably there's going to be some juice. I mean, even right now without even refilling it, there's some juice on here. And if I squeeze it like that, we're going to get more juice. But it is threaded to make this whole process easier. And it goes in just like you had expected to. You stick the tube into the straw boop, and just push it right in just like that and then you replace this uh you replace this cover right there and and that's all there is to it oh and i have mystery juice from somewhere there is a usb port on the side and it supports uh two amp charging so you can charge your battery inside the mod me personally i like to pop my batteries out of the mod and charge them in their own proper charger nothing against watofo and nothing against this usb for me personally I would just rather take the batteries out of the mod. But honestly, there's not much else to it. I'm just gonna screw on this 25 millimeter atomizer just to show you, this is the Recoil Rebel. It sits on there and you got plenty of room. Plenty of room right here. I don't know if you could put like a 30 millimeter atomizer on here. I doubt it. It might overhang just a little bit, but 22s, 24s, and 25 millimeter atomizers all fit on here. I mean, flawlessly, no issues at all. And if you remove your atomizer and you have a battery on the inside and you go to press the fire button, look at this magicalness that happens. Boom, what? There is a light right there so you can see your juice level and that's just cool as shit. And we're gonna talk about that once we get back up top. In fact, that's what we're gonna do now. I'm just gonna uh, attach an atomizer to this and then we'll get back out to normal view. Shit, we'll vape it. So here it is. It's the Recurve, it's a squonker, it's from Mike Vapes, it's from Watofo, and it is a heavy, heavy beast. This is, I mean, it's just a heavy mod. I get the vibe that this is made from zinc, although I couldn't find that anywhere on the website. Maybe I just missed it, but after using, I mean, after using as many mods as I have, I kind of get the vibe that this is zinc because even without a battery, like I said in the up close, it's hefty. It's a hefty, heavy, weighty, weighty mod. Generally, I really like a good, a good solid feeling mod, but I feel like this is, it's just a little bit too much. It reminds me of like when the first Relo, that first DNA 200 Relo came out and it was just a paperweight, like it was just a brick. I would put it in my back pocket and it would literally like 
yank my pants down like just a little bit where you put it down you're like whoa okay that, that, that is a heavy mod this is that type of real heavy heavy duty mod it's a single battery single battery squonk bottle and even for a single battery squonk bottle mod it's a little bit on the big side i mean even comparing it to other some other dual 18650 dual battery mods it's it, it feels it feels big and i get it that it has to be that big because it is a 21700 on the inside and it does have a fairly decently sized juice bottle on the inside it's an 8 mil capacity juice bottle which is you know which is just fantastic so what i truly truly enjoy about this mod is just how ergonomic it is it's insane how well this mod fits in my hand it's like it was made to be there it's so ergonomic with this swoop on the front and this kind of swoop on the front you got this trigger finger you know this trigger button right here i'm a person that likes to hit my mod button with my finger so this works out perfectly for me i i absolutely love how ergonomic this is to hold in the hand it's just now this is technically uh, uh, an unregulated device, but there's a little bit of regulation going on in here because they say it has a maximum output of 80 watts or 4.3 volts. And I think it's gonna limit it to whatever threshold it reaches first. It's either gonna limit your voltage to 4.3, assuming that that, according to your resistance, is under 80 watts. And I think it's gonna limit your wattage to 80 watts uh, and you know use the power accordingly and it's interesting because it says it fires they say it fires down to a 0 0.08 ohm uh, you know if you had a 0 0.08 on here it would fire it but you're only getting the maximum of 80 watts so if you actually did build a 0 0.08 you know uh, build in your atomizer or in your tank or something like that the maximum that this is going to put out is 80 watts so really with a 0 0.08 you're only getting like 2.1 2.2 volts at least that's my understanding of how the maximum uh, you know 80 watt output works on this additionally i mean if you were going to build even like a, a one point a, a point one two on here that 80 watt maximum is going to limit you to about 3.1 or 3.2 volts and then let's say you know for the sake of this argument that you want to build something a, a little bit higher to take advantage of that 80 watt output let's say if you built like a, a 0.25 the 80 watt maximum wants to give me like four and a half 4.4 to four and a half volts but that's already over the 4.3 volt maximum output that it'll do so i think i think it's i I think it's either one it's either going to limit you in wattage or it's going to limit you in voltage you kind of just have to build accordingly this is a 0 0.12 on here so this is only going to give me about 3.1 to 3.2 volts but it feels you know it feels like it hits real well i don't notice the difference between if this was giving me 3.1 volts or 3.4 volts or 3.5 volts even because it has that 80 watt like sort of maximum limit that like 80 watt cut off so you kind of have to build accordingly and build you know within the parameters of the mod within the parameters of that 80 watt maximum output at least i think i'm interpreting that the correct way someone please correct me politely down in the comments down below if i'm misinterpreting that but i think that's how this works but even with all of that said like i said this is a 0.12 in here it vapes great it, it hits nice and hard and it just it feels real nice and honestly there's really nothing to gripe about this i mean i i have had no issues with it no issues at all it's always vaped real well i kind of wish that the the trigger button was a little bit more responsive and i have this way that i measure it where if i can press the button like this like i'm pressing the button right now and nothing's happening like i don't hear a sizzle or anything happening oh maybe now a little bit there's a little bit of sizzle going on but there's a lot of mods and i mean that's how i judge it is i tap the button 
And if I can activate the button and hit the fire button and nothing happens, then I feel like that's just that little bit of lag. I feel like this could be maybe just a little bit more responsive. And that's not something that in your day-to-day -day vaping, you're not even really going to notice. Like you're not going to be vaping and vaping and using it and talking like out and vaping. And, and then in the back of your mind to be thinking, man, that like split second delay, God, I wish this was just so much more responsive. No, of course not. You're gonna use it, you're gonna press the button and it's gonna fire consistently every single time. And even after all of that 80 watt maximum talk and what voltage you're getting, depending on the resistance, I've never felt like this mod was lacking in power in, in any capacity. Maybe if I put like a real, real high resistant build on there, like, you know, a, a one ohm build, you might notice a difference there, but chances are if you're using a squonker, I don't know, you, maybe there's some flavor banger atomizers out there that might go up to like a one ohm build. But generally I found that if you stay in like the, the 0.12 to like 0.16 sort of range, even into the 0.2 on your resistance, you're going to get plenty of power and it's going to be fantastic. Just fantastic. I have said fantastic. <laughs> way too many times in this video. Now, here's where I have a bone to pick with Mr. Mike Vapes over there. One great feature of this mod is it illuminates behind the bottle with a little light so you can see how much juice is in your bottle because this bottle is like a smoky, dark, blackish gray color and there's a lot of squonkers out there that have this same bottle and you, I mean, just from looking at it in, in normal daylight right now, I can't see how much juice is in this bottle. But if you five click this on and five click this off, one, two, three, four, five, hello light. There's a little light that appears in there and shows you your exact juice level. Now. I'm not saying, I'm absolutely not, because I think this is a great idea. I think this should be on, on every squonker that exists. I think this is brilliant. And I'm not saying that Mike Vape's like, I don't know, maybe he didn't steal the idea, but I do have a very vivid memory of recently mentioning something like this before. Another thing that really bums me out about this squonking system is the mod itself is black. The internals are black. The bottle is black. So just holding it up like this, I have no idea how much juice is in there. I can't see my juice level at all in any capacity. And even when you pop this back panel off, it's still so black and the juice bottle is so dark that you can still not really see where your juice level is. If I wanna see my juice level, I literally have to take out the batteries, take out the bottle and hold it up to the light and go, Okay, that's where we're at. Here's a freebie, here's a free idea, USV. Put a little LED on the inside of this so that you can have an extra button. Put a little extra button right here that you click and it will illuminate behind your bottle so you can instantly see, like, you know, like an X-ray, how much juice you have. And ultimately, you know, I, I, I don't care. <laughs> I honestly don't care. I like that it's getting implemented. I think this is a great feature. I just thought that was a, a real, real interesting coincidence there. So let's get down to brass tacks, as it were. Are you gonna need your vape budget hands if you wanna check out this really dope and really heavy and really illuminated squonker, the recurve from Mike Vapes, Watofo? Eh, maybe a little bit. Clicking around the internet, I found it anywhere from about 50 to 55 bucks, which is, you know, I mean, that's that's kind of in, in vape budget hands territory. It's not like a terribly, cheap like cheap enough just to buy it just to try it out type of mod and it's not necessarily like uh, you know a 70 80 dollar sort of you know higher end sort of mod i guess it's kind of it kind of is what it is it's 50 bucks personally i mean if we're gonna play the aliens game or the fda game where they come and take everything i have and i have nothing left to vape is the recurve squonker something i would seek out and buy here's the thing yeah, I really like this. I really like this squonker. This has been one of my favorite squonkers. I love using this with a 21700 battery, which by the way, something I didn't mention, you can use it with 21700s, 2700s, and there's a little sleeve in there so you can use it for 18650s as well. If you're gonna use this mod, it's big. You wanna take advantage of the fact that it can use a 21700 battery. It's gonna greatly increase your power. It's gonna greatly increase your battery life. So. 
I like to rock this with the 21700. I love how ergonomic it is. I love that clicky button. I like the light behind the bottle. I like the 8 mil juice bottle. I like that I can put a 25 millimeter atomizer on this. So to me, the Recurve Squonker is a pretty screaming deal for a very sort of, uh, you know, it's just good. That's where I'm going to leave this. It, it's just... It's just damn good. Mike Vapes, I think I've liked every product that Mike Vapes has released in this, this Recurve Squonkers, uh, this Recurve Squonker is no different. So well done to you, sir, and well done to Watofo. But anyway, that's where I'm gonna leave that. It is what it is. I can't put links in the description, so you're gonna have to use your Google Foo. But thank you so much for watching, everybody. And as always, yeah, let's keep on vaping. <laughs>